It has no doubt, not, without a doubt, or undoubtedly been a long week for the Tennessee Valley. Snowstorms forcing people off the roads and into their homes for the better part of the week. And as WHT News 19's Daniela Perillon reports, the effects of so many snow days may be seen months down the line. Snow days give people the opportunity to get outside and build a snowman, catch up on their favorite TV show, or snuggle up with a loved one next to the fireplace. But after three days of being stuck inside, there's only so many movie marathons a person can watch. <laughs> babies upon babies upon babies. <laughs> If 30 years as a neonatal nurse has taught Judy Campbell anything, it's that people had to keep themselves entertained somehow. Snowstorms or power outages. Nine months later, the fruits of a couple's snow day romp enter the world with a slap on the bottom. <laughs> we just get slammed and we sit back and wonder what in the world happened, you know, nine months ago. Some baby boom parents are candid about the circumstances surrounding the conception. I'll just say, you know, we, we weren't thinking about having this baby, but, you know, things happened. We had to be at home together for a week, and here we are now. Campbell takes each baby boom in stride, grateful to share in the moment. I've always considered it a privilege and an honor to be able to be involved with these families at this most intimate, precious time, you know, in their lives. And sometimes, with a knowing smile on her face, she'll guess at what event led to each baby's birth. In Huntsville, Daniela Perillon, WHNT News 19. Now keep in mind, while there aren't many scientific studies on post storm baby booms, there is a correlation between weather and birth rates. Right, the severity of the storms can determine whether the birth rate increases or decreases. Love